Yes, guys, Saturday spoilers for the coming week, and it's going to be Sword Edge, week 13, so let's do this here. So, yes, this is going to be the first kingdom that's going to reach power level 30. You heard right. This is the first kingdom here. Right, you expect something else, but this is Sword Edge is the first kingdom that reached power level 30. That means you're going to get um, plus four skill points. It is what it is. And also, if you paid your $25 or $24.99, you will get uh, a new troop and the Glacial Peaks will reach power level 24. Right? And let's take a look at the um, rule event for next week is Relic Hunter. Sword Edge uh, event um, is going to be spelled, uh, it's going to be um, spell base, spell damage. So let's see. I don't know the night what restrictions are going to be added, but uh, the devs always have us in a surprise. And talking about the devs, they admit that they messed up with the cycle of the mythics. So I was really hoping to get Medusa um, this week here, or the week of the 12th, but it didn't happen. So let's see what they're going to do because now you have to get uh, Scorpio. Medusa and most likely the, uh, the that new giant also is going the obsidian giant also is going to be in the uh, mythic pool. We'll see about that. But back to this the the spoilers. We're going to have a new troop this week here is the relic knight and it's going to be undead and knight uh, ultra rare and his colors are blue and green. Mana cost is twelve. First trait is night shield. Allied Knights uh, gain two armor. Uh, second trait is no. undying, immune to poison, disease, lycanthropy, and death mark. And armored reduced damage for score by 25%. His magic spell is Vigil, uh, bury an ally, and give them mana equal to the half of their mana cost. If they are knight, create three blue, blue gems. What's happening here? Somebody sent a message. Uh, the, okay, right. Then, in case you forgot, uh, there was an update uh, 6.8 in which a few troops were released. They added four new troops to the um, to the uh, kingdom. We have Eleanor, which is a human knight epic, and this one here comes in with the colors green and yellow. Mana cost is um, nine. Trait is uh, Human Bone, Allied Knights gain 2 life. Second trait is Night Shield, Allied Knights gain 2 armor. And third trait is Armored Reduced Damage from Scores by 25%. So there are, there are four troops that uh, were added to the, um, to the game in uh, Update 6.8. You could have used your... Your gems to I mean, your keys to get them. Some some of us got them, some of didn't. So this is the opportunity to use your event chest keys to get those that you didn't get. Uh, I'm missing one. I think it's a legendary dragon. We're going to go into one, but this is the opportunity to get these four troops, including the new one, the relic knight. So this week here, if you didn't get none of these troops yet, this is the opportunity to get all five of these troops so we had the red knight we have eleanor and her spell is um uh, the herald's message create 11 purple gems mm. it is what it is then you have a militia a militia man a human knight common and he comes in with the color brown mana course is seven Sorry. trait is trait is um born knight allied knights gain two life uh, second trait alert, immune to silent, and third trait is armored, reduced damage from scores by 25%. And his spell is spear trust, deal half minus magic plus uh, plus three damage to an enemy. Not impressed with the spell, but it is what it is. Then we have the mysterious human, Mysterio. All right, comes with the color red and purple. Mana cost is nine. Um, first trait is human bound. Allied knights gain, sorry, allied humans gain two life. Second trait, son of fire. 
summer firestorm at the start of the battle. And the third trait is magic spirit, gain one magic for each purple ally. Spell is Mysterious Blade, deal magic plus five damage to a random enemy. So it's like these days the, the devs are, are in love with the randomness. And the last one, right, is the Guardian Dragon, the Dragon Legendary. This one I don't have, so I will have to try my luck next week in the in the using eventies to get this troop here and this one here comes in with the colors uh blue and red mana colors blue and red mana cost is 15 first trait yeah. is dragon bound ally dragons gain two life second trait stuff skills reduce damage from skulls by uh, for skulls by 30 percent and the third trait is guardian shield gain eight armor when matching red gems and his spell is uh, guardian breath uh deal magic plus one damage to all enemies gain five armor okay for those that paid that 25 dollars will get king of ravens face tricks troop and it's a mythic yes it's a mythic and mm, i was really thinking should i have paid my ten dollars to get a super you know what i did it and i got to vip level six so it's also good Anyway, uh, mana color is blue, yellow, and purple. Mana cost is 24. The first trait is uh, Song of Darkness. Summon a dark storm at the start of the battle. Second trait is Mana Shield, immune to mana burn, mana drain, and mana steel. And the third trait is Murderer of Ravens. Convert two blue gems to spirit gems when my turn begins. Murderer of Ravens, okay. And uh, his spell is Midnight Dairy. Explode all purple gems and purple and spirit gems. Deal oh, deal magic plus uh three damage Trend, to the Trend, two Trend. last enemies boosted by spirit gems. Okay, so that is also gonna be uh, it could do some pretty nice damage if you can you work with those spirit gems. Anyway, now we have the uh, also this week we have Guild Wars. Yep, yep, there comes the ghost. Sometimes from um, the battle that we lost and that didn't go good. So, and just trying something else here. So, this week, next week, we have Guild Wars. Then, Tuesday, we have the regular um, Delph event, uh, Crypt Keepers. This one already. I'm gonna do this one just for the resources. Wednesday, pet rescue. It's toy soldier. Thursday is the class trial. Sorry, um, class trial uh, night. Yeah, we just jumped the gun a little bit, and then Friday we have invasion. It has to be uh, Grushnuck, not Pansville. Grushnuck. So it's going to be orcs, and we have a new weapon which is the wall hack. It's going to be um, axe, and this weapon here is um, blue and brown. Mana cost is fourteen, and of course it's going to explode. Uh, magic plus one red gems grant a random status effect to all orcs, and summon an orc troop. So. That is what is coming this week here. So, Invasion is going to be Grushnak and not Pansville. So, I'm not going to do this for this typo here, this big typo here. But we have a set of new troops coming this week here. So, we have for Sword, Sword Edge, we have five new troops. If you didn't pick those up yet, you have five new troops. And if you paid, We'll get the mythic also from uh, uh, King of Ravens. So, and these five troops we pick up also. So you have here the uh, Relic Knights, Eleanor, Militia Man, Mysterious Hero, and the Garden Dragon. So. 
that's what's coming next week anyway guys thanks for watching do not forget to like and subscribe and all that crazy fun stuff and i will see you guys uh later on maybe tomorrow when i do my uh sunday wrap up or whatever flip doing thanks for support and we'll see you peace out tight is gone bye bye